Today we'll be talking about another small cap fund that has generated quite a good return for the past three to five years. Uh, yes, today we'll be talking about Nippon India small cap fund, right? So let's dig deep into this particular fund, right? So uh, if you can see this particular slide, uh, if you had invested ten thousand rupees in this fund since its inception, it would have generated a humongous amount of one lakh thirteen thousand approximately. Whereas the category average is seventy seven thousand five hundred, and the index has given you thirty nine thousand seven hundred thirty one. That is, this is the reason I always say that it's better to invest in index when it comes to large caps. But when it comes to small cap and mid cap, till date the active fund management has given more return, even risk adjusted returns than the index, right? And if you can see, there has not been any full change uh, in the fund manager. Uh, Portfolio, there have been multiple partial change, and that's fine. We continuously evolve. Similarly, funds also continuously evolve, so fund managers also come and go. Now, when it comes to investment details, as you already know, that we should be wary of certain details only. The minimum SIP amount is thousand rupees. The exit load is one percent if you redeem within one month of your investment. When it comes to turnover, it's being a small cap fund. The turnover is great. Twenty one percent turnover is great when it comes to a small cap fund, right? The expense ratio is also very much average. Uh, for a small cap fund, that is one point five five percentage. Now uh, comes to the asset allocation part. Uh, it is ninety seven percent invested into equities, and the rest is cash as of September twenty twenty three. Now coming to the factor profile, if you see uh, the style of investment is completely growth oriented. As I've always said, that if uh, a fund's investment style is growth oriented, the yield will always be low. So in this case also, it's low. Momentum is very high. Quality is high. Volatility is above average. When it comes to liquidity, it's above uh, means below average. You can say because see, it's perfectly all right. Because when you invest in small caps, the liquidity uh, is an issue, right? When it comes to size, this is the very important part. When it comes to size, it's below average. That means it has this particular path to cover to become large in size. So the growth opportunity is immense for this particular scheme. Now, when it comes to uh, this particular thing, see, sharp ratio is more than the uh, category. And it's perfectly all right. With something which is more interesting to me is the beta. See, the beta difference between uh, the average category and this particular fund is just 0.04. That's a pretty good number. When it comes to alpha, <laughs> it has generated an alpha of 8.5 percent, and that's very much appreciable. Now, coming to the exposure, it is highly invested into the industrial uh, sector, which is a sensitive sector, as we all know. Then it has invested into financial services, consumer cyclical, basic materials, and likewise. Right? Uh, if you see that. In the industrial sector, the category has also invested nearly thirty percent of their you know, fund. Similarly, it also has considerable uh, investment into the top three sectors of uh, this particular sheet. That is, basic materials, consumer cyclical, and financial services. Now, the top ten holdings are very important. Tube Investments of India, very very good company, two point six one percent of portfolio weight. SDFC Bank, Apar Industries, KPIT Technologies, and so on. If you you can definitely go through this particular list. See the the, the oldest fund. Uh, oldest company that this company that this fund has invested into is, I guess, yes, Apar Industries and Tejas Networks, and it is still invested into these particular companies, right? Now, very important, the upside ratio is more than the category average as well as the index, but the downside is at par with the category. So it's very much appreciable that a fund, being a small cap fund, has a downside ratio or downside capture that is at par with the category is an appreciable stuff. The maximum drawdown duration has been six months since its inception, and the maximum drawdown very important. When the category ha uh, has experienced a maximum drawdown of thirteen percent, this fund has experienced a drawdown of ten point six percent. Right? Consideration: It has two hundred uh, companies. That's why I always say that you, any beginner, even a more moderately experienced person, should always invest in mutual fund and not in direct equities. See, this particular fund has more than two hundred stocks. And you trust me, as an individual, you won't be able to research and invest in the in two hundred uh, stocks. It's impossible to keep a track of two hundred stocks, but it's possible for them because they have a team, right? So one should always, when it comes to small cap, mid cap, or um, you can say flexi cap, you should always go towards mutual funds, right? See, the top three sectors occupy forty percent. Majority of the investments are occupied in the top three sectors that we have discussed in our exposure slide. The fund managers are, you can see. Uh, Basically, these three fund managers have been associated with the company. Akshay Sharma joined recently in 2022, and they have uh, 
consistent uh, performance these three fund managers have the expertise and as well as the uh, performance to they have delivered throughout these years right now the most important thing uh, for which you guys are waiting you guys always wait for our analysis what is money quest's uh, point of view regarding this particular fund now if you see when it comes to our rating uh, the leading factor is definitely uh, this fund's better long term risk adjusted return or really or risk adjusted performance i've always maintained that one should not talk more about uh, return than risk adjusted return so this fund has delivered uh, risk adjusted returns on a long term scale right number two uh, positive thing that helps us in our rating process is the stability of the management team the management team has been stable yes there have been certain uh, i mean influx so those influx are uh, you can say better for the uh, fund as a whole right now nippon in, in life insurance in japan this particular company uh, acquired the mutual fund business of reliance capital when they wind up uh, in september 2019 that's why many of uh, our uh, you can say newbie investors they they often uh, ask a query that what will happen to my money if uh, xyz mutual fund company closes i always say that see uh, in india uh, a mutual fund or an amc never closes it simply transfers its business to a different company like in the case of reliance capital even the fund managers the employees of reliance capital they just shifted their uh, ally, you can say alliance to nippon in life insurance of japan and after that the name of the amc became nippon india mutual fund right now over a 10 year period this particular fund this nippon india small cap fund has outperformed the the average in the category average by nearly 7 points or you can say 7 percentage points that's from a small cap point of view that's a appreciable considerable return more importantly the expense ratio or the fees that this uh, fund your scheme charge they are at par with the uh, category or at par with the peers now if you see the strategy basically the, the, the strategy that this portfolio employs it is always maintained an overweight volatility and that's perfectly all right because when you invest in small cap uh, volatility is something like a free offer you can't keep away volatility when you buy small cap stocks right so the volatility exposure is there in this particular uh, scheme or fund and the momentum exposure is also uh, there right now our rating our uh, judgment says that if you are an existing investor into this fund you should you should remain invested you should definitely think long term with this particular fund if you are a beginner uh, who wishes to invest in a small cap i am repeating again who wishes to invest in a small cap after getting your risk profile checked through an advisor after that thing if you want to invest in a small cap if your advisor uh, advises you or recommends you to buy a small cap you should always think of buying this nippon india mutual small cap mutual fund because there are multiple parameters on which this uh, particular fund has excelled uh, our rating process right so that's it for today uh, we'll meet in the next session we'll talk about a different uh, fund that has performed well lately as well as historically thank you so much